My friends, <clears throat> you need to be honest with yourself. You see, and ask yourself, do you really have a relationship with Jesus Christ? You see, or do you have a relationship with somebody else's relationship? Somebody else who's not physically alive today? You see, with Jesus Christ. You need to be honest with yourself, my friends. If you have a relationship with something, with somebody, that means that it's an everyday thing that person or thing lives in your heart. It has occupied a deep place in your heart, you see. And you give and receive from it all the time. You don't give and receive from something else, you see, that that person said, you know, long, long time ago to somebody else. You see, you're not, uh, this is not a relationship with that person or that thing. This is a, not even a, a secondary, tertiary relationship with, with, with what you, it's really a, like somebody wrote a note and you know you have a relationship with that note that somebody wrote a note about their relationship with another person you see and 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 and, and that's the thing my friends because in that note those people wrote to you that you need to have a relationship with the one they had a relationship with you see in order to write what they wrote and that's what many people don't have they don't have they, they they don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Just like they don't even have a relationship with another human being, they don't know how to have a relationship. They have to read a book. You see, from written by some guru somewhere to tell them how to have a relationship. You see, and then they do these things like uh, mechanized robots. You know walk around and, and that's what we do or oh, the book on how to have a relationship the 10 step plan the 15 step this and the 20 step that you see they do that in the Christian realm they do that in the world you see what people don't realize my friends is that to really have a relationship with Jesus Christ you need to lose all the strings you need to lose all the things that everybody's telling you and all these other 20,000 voices that exist you see you need to lose them all you need to go through something you know and empty yourself in order to be filled by Jesus Christ in order to understand you see a living relationship with Jesus is one where you think about him all the time he lives in you and you live in him you see we abide in the light and the light abides in us and the light shines through the world but people don't want the light you see people want darkness what does it mean darkness it means blindness you cannot see any you see with your physical eyes you see the kingdoms of this world you see the glory of this world the fame the riches what the world calls success that's what has blinded you my friends because those are the things that live inside you And then you wear religiosity, which you call relationship, on the outside. You wear all these other things, this show, this false show, but in your heart. You don't want to take Jesus into your heart because he exposes what's in there. You see, he has to, it's the truth. Because it shows you then that you need to clean this and take this out and do this and do that. You see. And that's, that's the thing. He can correct you. And you have to lose some things. You see? And people don't want to lose those things. They don't want to lose control. Like the way the world gives them a false idea that they have control. That they have power. That they are... If they do this, this and this, then they, they're going to get this. And the problem is when the, something happens to break that false uh, peace, then everybody goes into anarchy and chaos. You see? And that's what it takes a lot of the time. The whip has to crack on your back before you understand. 
and cry out from the place you should have cried out a long time ago to have a relationship because then what happens is God delivers you to your own doings to the consequences of what you've been doing for a long time see and that's the problem my friends because it's actually God who saves us from our own self the consequences of our own doings you see and then when we have to then we accuse God oh where where were you why why did you allow me this and that why did this happen you see it's because we we were, we were pretending you see instead of becoming a mirror see a mirror is a reflection of something instead of becoming a mirror for the kingdom of God we became a mirror for false light see and that's the thing see <sighs> eternal light can never live in the flesh because it will destroy the flesh because it's, it's made to reflect out so it goes away and that's what people need to understand that in order for eternal light to come in you need to be wholly occupied by it in your, in the, in your depth so that it can completely shine out through you you become the light that God wants you to become see we have to abide in Christ and Christ will abide in us see make his abode in us but there are certain things we have to do and that's what people don't want to do that's why they don't take Jesus into their heart you see because they have to change many things and they don't want that they want to follow false false Christianity where you can enter the kingdom of God by becoming a parrot of other people's relationships those other people Peter Paul they're not even alive physically today and uh, you have a relationship with what they said about their relationship with God you don't want a relationship with God with Jesus Christ with the living word of God you want a relationship with everything else you want a relationship with your animals you want a relationship with your plants you want a relationship with the environment you want a relationship with your job you want a relationship with your entertainments you want a relationship with your excesses you want a relationship with yourself but you don't want a relationship with Jesus Christ but you claim to have one are you serious do you really have one my friends do you really have a relationship with Jesus Christ think about it my friends because in a relationship both sides speak you see both sides it's not apparent if I want to know somebody I have got to go to that person and speak with them and they speak back to me I don't go and speak to a friend of this you see the friend would tell me, okay, let me introduce you to this person. Then we go. And now I meet that person, we start speaking. Then we have our own relationship. See, people don't get it. They call all kinds of things a relationship with God when it's not a relationship. It's not a life. You see, it's, it's so it's dead beyond belief in many cases people will say well who are you to say that my friends you've got to be honest with yourself who are you to judge my friends you've got to be honest with yourself because there's only one judgment and that is that you have to receive the judgment of God if you follow him you see and that's the truth with anything if we go to the, a job we have a boss we receive the judgment of the boss all of us but you're willing to receive the judgment of the boss because you perceive a gain but you're not willing to judge yourself according to the standards of God you see in order to improve you're willing to go 
and 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 go to some famous person who's going to lambast you and tell you you're nothing and speak in your face with spit flying all over your face and you're willing to take it because you perceive again but you're not willing to listen to the quiet voice who's trying to be nice with you you see unbelievable to me it's really unbelievable but that's how it is and to me I'm just a nobody I'm just here to tell you that you need a real relationship you see not all these other things that uh, people are thinking is the way it's not the way I meet it all over in every realm you go somewhere people sit there and talk about things about other people and and what they're doing and what they've done you see in order to make something alive to them you see you want weights to be alive to you you gotta go lift them you want plants to be alive to you you gotta go and take care of the garden every day just like you if you want your body to be alive to you you need to go and look after it every day and it tells you whether something is right or something is wrong whether something is weak and something is strong you see but people don't want that they want to read about what other people have done and what was alive to other people and then take the glory off of that and act like hey you know it's that's who they are no my friends he says you should be honest with yourself it's very easy about talking to build a foundation in the ground for a house it's a whole different ball game when you have to actually go dig there you see and see what happens to your hands and see what happens to your body and see how you feel whether you want to keep going and that's what people don't want because then when you do something wrong it will speak to you completely you built something wrongly guess what it's going to judge you and tell you hey you did this wrong that's why you can't put this on top of it yet so you need to take the whole thing out and do it all over again see so you look at the sun then and the sweat coming off your brow and you think to yourself man I just I have to do this you see but other people want to sit there having their latte you know sit there having their the nice stuff that they get and have something that is out there a fake false relationship based on speculation you know something when you have to suffer with it and go through it you see and then it gets birthed in your heart it gets birthed through pain you see that's what people don't want they don't want that you see because you, there are many things you have to change there are many things you have to correct and keep correcting all the time you see and that's why they don't want a relationship with Jesus Christ just the same way they don't want a relationship with anything else they want to read about it and then call that a relationship because they never have to really allow anything to be birthed in them they want to listen and watch other people and then start quoting them and quoting things that they received and never make it alive to them if somebody told you that hey you need to do this and do that then you gotta go do this and do that and then what's gonna happen is that you're going to it's going to be revealed to you what they received themselves from the thing that gave it to them so if somebody teaches you about the gym or the weights just an example then guess what you go and do some of those things that these people did and then you are also going to be testified to by that the kingdom of the gym the kingdom of the same thing is true the kingdom of God you see but people don't want to go through things they don't want to empty themselves and go after it they don't want to go all the way that's why they don't have a relationship they're not willing they want other things they want a relationship with everything else but they don't want a relationship with Jesus but have deceived themselves